Welcome everyone to our class in understanding the Torah in depth. Here we're trying to uh, apply some of the principles that we uh, learned in the uh, Dr. Gemara and in the, and in the Ramchal Sfar. So we're involved in the Maytop piece and I made a, uh, I'm making a, a continually updated um, outline of what we're doing so that we'll, I could send I think I sent you one part it keeps getting updated so it's uh, it's linked to all the little documents that we need and last time um, last time what we did was we did the Kasha of Abaya and Rubber's first dance and then Abaya answer so I've been working pretty hard to um, make these nice charts so we can um, understand what we've, what we've been doing. What we, what's going on here in this piece is that we have a collision uh, between two pasukim, Arumia. Now what I did here in this little chart is each little box represents another solution and uh, the three Pasukim that we have, actually two Pasukim, but there's two parts of one Pasuk and another part in one. We started with our Pasuk called Metav Sadeo Metav Karmi Yishalem. That when you do damage to another person, you have to pay with the best of your field. And that's our Pasuk, the Metav Pasuk. Then we concluded that that was talking about paying for damages and telling us that you have to pay with the best of your field when you're damaging, uh, when you're paying for the damages that you did to someone else. That's the conclusion of Rabbi Kiva. And Abaya said, okay, now that we've come to this conclusion, uh, we're going to have a problem now with the Pasuk that says uh, that when you damage a person, it happens to be in a bore, that you Kesev Yoshev, uh, you Shalom Kesev Yoshev Abalov, that in that case, you can pay Kesev, and then it says an extra word, Yashiv, Labalov, Yashiv. So that extra word, the Brisa, it tells us that it means Shavikesev. So the three Pasukim that we're dealing with is the Meitav Pasuk, which we're talking about, uh, that we started talking about. And Abaya now brings up the Pasuk that says Kesev and Yashiv. Kesev meaning silver, money. Uh, and Yashiv meaning everything, including Subin, the worst type of uh, of an item that has uh, value. So Abai then raised the objection. He said, wait a minute. On one hand, you're telling me, you're telling me, may tav in me lo. The only thing I could do when I pay back for damages, if we learn the uh, Pasuk Dafka, which is where we always start, is that I have to pay with the best of land. Yet this other Pasuk of Yashiv says that I can even pay with the worst of movables. So um, it seems to be a contradiction between the two Pasukim, either only the best of land and nothing else, or everything else, as long as of course it has value. So that's the problem on the floor. How are we going to resolve these two Pasukim? So we discussed Rava's answer. The first answer of Rava was, well, the two Pasukim were talking about two different circumstances. If you settle out of court, then that's what the Yosha Pasuk is coming to tell, tell, tell you. You can, you can pay back with anything you want, even Subin, the worst of them, worst type of metal talent. But if you force the Nisak to go to court, so then you run the risk of you losing your best land. So that's a way that the Torah is making sure that you're not just dragging people to court. Uh, you senselessly, maybe you'll wear him down, maybe he won't go to court. Uh, because if he does go to court, then you're going to use, lose something that's very, very important to you. The court's going to take away your best property. So it's a, a way of protecting the Nizak from useless court cases. Uh, of course, if it's true that you did, uh, if if you did uh, that you did not damage him, so you have nothing to lose. That's fine. But if you're fooling around, of course you're going to suffer the consequences. That's how Rubber answered. Now, the objection to Rubber's position was that 
the Pasuk doesn't has no remez to that. He uh, Rev Eli tried to bring a a, a remez to it. It said Yishalem, that means Bal Korcha. But when we now analyze it, we see that Yishalem, a buyer brought the objection, Yishalem can mean Bal Korcha, or can be Beritzono. So you have no raya. It's a nice idea. It's, uh, it, it fits into the words. And the reason why it's stated here, we always like to talk about the progression of ideas, is because it really doesn't upset any of our premises. All it did was make it a kimter and separated the two pesukim. However, if we don't have any smach, any raya for that in the pasuk, so uh, the Gemara decides it can't hold water and, and rejects it. Uh, by himself comes, and that's what we did last time we met, with a, with a very, very sophisticated type of solution, but it's not without cost. He upsets a lot of our premises. Okay. Uh, one premise was he started with the idea that said meitav in media chrin alo that that you, that the word meitav was a mute. Now he's going to tell us that no meitav indeed is not a mute. It's a rebor. You can you the nizak are allowed to take anything up to meitav. So when it says meitav, it doesn't mean rock meitav only meitav. It means af meitav that you the nizak have the right to take. Uh, as payment anything up to the Meitav land. If that's true, then there's a redundancy between that and Yashiv. That also says the same thing. So whenever we have a redundancy, it can turn out to be a mute. It's one of the things we learned with Darke Gemara. And what happens is that the, this Yashiv Pasuk is coming to correct a um, a possible, uh, let's say, injustice to the Mazik, because in the winter, land values go down uh, because no one sells that land. So if the damage happened in the winter, explains the buyer. So you can you can always the 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 the, uh, the mazik is forced to give his best land because the nizak has the right to collect the damage that happened now. But the Torah wants to protect him and says any other type of land. Like Bain in this land, say you want, say the Nizak wants to come and take Bain in this land, the Masa can say, no, I'm sorry, this is the winter, and you have a right to collect from the best of land, but not from the worst of land here. So that's how Abaya solves the problem. Um, the Gemara now rejects Abaya's position, and he says, wait, according to you, Abaya, you don't, you're not fitting into the spirit of the of the law. The, the, the obvious or the, the simple reason why the Torah is saying metaf sedehu is to give an advantage to the nizak. Now you're helping the mazik by saying, okay, if it happens in the winter, he doesn't have to um, give his bainanus, his zibris land. So that's not in the spirit of the law, and therefore we pushed a buy on the side. Now Rub is going to come up with his solution, so let's get to that. That was just a brief summary to get us to where we're holding. So, um, oops, uh, let's go to our text. Now, you do you have the Gemara there with you? Uh, Avi, did I lose you? Oh, boy. No, I'm here. I drove the Gemara, yeah. Okay, so uh, grab the Gemara, and now you can you can pick up where we left off. So, we're ready for, we're ready for resolution now. Okay. okay. I'm just getting the place down here. I didn't set that up, but okay, that was my solution. Okay. Um, oops. Okay. So now we're up to. Um, oops. Where am I holding here? Uh, Remilea by the rubber, and we said lots of Nissan and Matkif, and now we're up to El Oma rubber. Rubber comes back again and and gives his second solution. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry, that's not true. I know where I uh, give it. Makasha. Okay. There we go. Mikol Kasha. So after we eliminate a buyer, the Gemara says Mikol Makom Kasha. Now I wanted to make sure you have Rashi there, right? I also have Rashi. 
I have a sheet. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let me, uh, it takes a little time here, everything that we're doing, but it's important stuff. Okay, what is Rashi? So, so we eliminated a buyer. That's where we left us last week, and um, now the Gemara says Mikol Makom Kasha. What does Rashi say over there? It's very important, Rashi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can read from the screen. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Look at we have on the screen. Okay, so we have to eliminate a buyer. The Gemara says, Mikol called Bakasha. Okay. So. Mm hmm. Because Metav and Yashiv includes Subin. Right. In other words, Metav says, Metav in Minyachrini Lo. You can't use anything except Metav. And Subin says you can use everything. Okay, the reason why I bring this is going to be it's very, very important because Rashi here states the Kasha of the two Pesukim. What is it? Why do I say that? Later on, we're going to have another Rashi. That's later on. He's going to be talking about Kesev and Metav. Okay? But here, up to now, we've been talking about Metav in Midi Lo, nothing else except Metav. And Yashiv says everything else. So now that we've eliminated Abayim, we've gone through, um, the Gemara went through other possibilities of what um, what uh, this case of uh, being, a, uh, being a poor man getting half the damages is, or some other variations, I'm not going to go through that. So it now gives another possibility. It gives rubber number two, his second possibility, okay? So what does he say? Go ahead. Omar Rabba. Omar Rabba called... That's his answer. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's his answer. Okay. So what was the question? The question was, the question was that I'm, 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 I didn't get I didn't fit into the track of where we were up to. Okay. Very simple. So, Robert, Robert, go, go ahead. Meitav in minyachmin alone. Yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get back from what we did. Okay. Okay. Right. He said, "If you're going to solve the problem, let, let's go. Let's go all the way back." Okay. Romale Abaya Larova. Okay, so we had the problem that that Meitav, so, okay, Meitav in media queen alone, right? We said we're only going to give, we're only allowed to give Meitav for damages, and yet Yashiv says you can give shkesa uh, v'filu subin, you can give everything back, right? So if you want to, the man wants to now pay for his damages. One pasuk says, well, the nizak has a right to best, and the other one says the nizak can can that the mazik. Excuse me. Can pay back even with the worst. So I mean, what does, what can the mazik pay back with? Only the best land, right. or subin everything. That's the problem. Okay. So Abaya answered the way he answered, and the Gemara pushed him off. Okay. Uh, so Rabbanal is coming and giving another answer. How can you answer these two, the contradiction? Only Meitav and everything. So I'm going to answer it. So he says, call the Yehivle me Meitav Yehivle. That's all he says. 
Whatever you give has to be mimetav. Now we need Rashi, okay? Here's Rashi. Ah, you want to find it in the Gemara? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, it's a fine, find the so Gemara. It's right, it's right at the Ravach and Bayakov. Here, I'm gonna. It's right I'm gonna at the yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, I did over there. Is I skipped that 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 part for you, okay? Because this, oh, that's that. yeah, that's what I did. I'm sorry. The reason why I skipped it is it's not directly. It's not answering the question anymore. Okay. Um, there, the, the answer to the question of buy a game. Okay, and then I I skipped. Okay, it's the wrong daf. Because I didn't remember doing it. Oh, here it is. I'm a rabbi called the I'm sorry. Okay. I'm I'm sorry actually, but what I did was I, because that piece is what happens is over there. Rava uh, Abaya wants to bring this analogy from a poor person who's getting half, uh, half his. Um, he, he has the, the case. Remember, was the poor the poor person is. Uh, needs money, it's the middle of the winter, and the, the Mishnah says that we're, we, we can give him up to half of the worth of his fields. So uh, Robert didn't understand the case, it didn't make any sense to him, so finally he said he's talking about a case, um, actually it doesn't say winter, he says he's talking about a case when, the, when it's not his fault that the land prices went down. Right. Because in the winter, land prices naturally go down because no one buys stuff in the winter. So since it's not his fault, we give him half the value of, of his field. But since technically he's still rich because in the summertime, he'll, uh, it will be worth 200 zoos, so he's not a poor person, so we can't give him 1,000 zoos. So we said that now Abaya took that uh, um, case, which has nothing to do with us at all, I mean, it's talking about a person, but it does demonstrate the principle that the Torah does um, um, take into account the drop in prices in winter. So Abayah said, ah, if the Torah is taking into account this drop of prices in winter as opposed to its normal price in the summer, so we can, now I can answer this problem. That made of in midichrin alone. And to do that, basically what he said was that the... The the nizak uh, can take meitav in the winter and get a killing because no one buys it, so the, you get a lot of uh, of his uh, meitav land because to, to sell the land in the winter you're going to have to sell it at a very very low price, so that he'll get a lot of meitav. But if he tries to say no, I want the beninis or zibris, so the maze can protect himself and says no, I want that zibris. So if you want to take it, you have to take it at the summer price, which is the shavikesa price. So that was a very sophisticated answer of what Apasukim were talking about. So the Gemara says, wait, a minute. it's a very nice answer, but it's nothing to do with us because our meitav is trying to help the nizak, not trying to help the mazik. According to you, it's the Pusik is trying to help the mazik from losing his banus and Zibris land at this low price. So they eliminated Abaya. So then they said, well, and but then the Gemara goes on and says, well, if you want to know what that case is comparable to, I'll tell you, it's the case that's comparable to Balhov. Then they say, no, then, then they knock that out. Then they say, you want to know, is that maybe it's comparable to Kasubas Isha. Okay, okay, that case is comparable to Kasubas Isha, and that situation will was applicable to Kasuvasisha, but that has nothing to do with us. That just was that was the case of uh, of uh, Rabba, and we tried when we found an application. But as far as Nazika, it has nothing to do with Nazika. So now we're back to our Kasha. Oh, now, now we can, now we can. Okay, now we you're. Very good. Okay. Good. And now, now, good. So Rabbi says, "Call the Yahid lay me meitav alaisa. Whatever he gives him has to be meitav." Right. So seemingly the types of the words says that that the that the, the meaning of the pasuk or the stila is really just coming to tell you something. It's coming to tell you that whatever you give has to be from meitav. Right. Which probably would mean 
testing rations. And yes. You have to give soup it. You have to be the meat of soup. That's right. right. That's what I would, I would propose no. testing rations. Excellent. That's correct. That's what Rashi says. Go ahead. Rashi says, Call the other meat of Yahweh the Chi, Parle Subin, you pay the name Subin, the Moon Shalai. What he pays with Subin, you have to give the best um, Subin. So that's what we see from the fact that we have one Pasuk that says Mita, and one Pasuk that says Yasha, and we have a Yumiya, so this, this, the repairs of that will be to say that the boat comes to tell you that it always has to be Mita. Even when it's, when it's Yasha, which is Subin, it also has to be Mita. Right. So now, now there, I mean, we should analyze what he did, what premise changed over there, right? You're right. The, the, what he says and, and the Gemara says is that now the word metav, sedehu, metav karmo, does, it does not come to eliminate subin at all. It comes to modify subin. Yeah? That when you give subin, of course you can give subin, but you have to give the best subin, grade A subin. If you give uh, 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 a car, you have to you have three cars. You have to, to pay back with the, the Mercedes, not not with the Volkswagen, right? right? <laughs> so no matter what you give back, you, we look in your house, we make an inventory of your stuff, and no matter what Shavi has, if you give back, you you have to give back the best. That's what he says. So that you see, what I wanted to uh, right. uh, then comes that. That metava arts is only a mushal. Remember, we had a mushal. It's really not a, a, a it's coming to eliminate shavik uh, um, It's only a mushal. Just like we take the best of your land, we are also going to take the best of your shavik no matter what it is. So, so that's okay. Um, and the Gemara says so. Why? First of all, I made my okay. It's so interesting to have a chart, but okay. I don't know if you get this chart here, but what I did here is I I tried to put the three just me of Kesev. We're just interested in Yashiv and Meitav. So now Rub is coming along, and 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 by the way, I just this is the should explain this more. What, what I, in this chart, what I'm doing is I'm creating what's called a hierarchy. If I asked you, we have three elements here. We have money, land, and movables. If I asked you which one is more important, you say, so that's a question that must be answered. Which one is more important? Because if I don't know which one is more important, then I can't make a deal. For instance, if I say, in it must mean here, like here, so in media queen alone, it must mean that I held that metav is more important than the other types of payment, correct? Or else I can't make that deal. So what what we're trying to ascertain here, and this is what's happening underneath the 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 uh, Gemara, is we're trying to first ascertain what is the priority of payment. If I ask you, uh, you pay for damages, what would you expect the Torah to say? So. Number one, I think, is, would be money, right? Right. Right? Now, between land and metaltalin, land and movables, okay, so now that depends upon what you think the relative worth of those two things are. Now, you're never going to pay him more than what he gave you. We're just talking about a different types of currency. So... Here, the understanding is the starting understanding is always that land is better than movables. Okay, people would rather have land as a payment than movables. Okay, because land has, a, in a certain way, land has a universal value. Everybody wants land, but subin, who, who, who wants the subin? You know, I'm interested in getting my money back, so that's why I want my kesiv. So I can get my money back if I get land, because usually people are interested in buying land. It's a universal. It's not as universally accepted as much, but it's universally appreciated. Put it that way by by people. But movables. Uh, <laughs> if I'm, uh, I'm going to sell my uh, my brand, my uh, my old jalopy, and maybe it's true on the market price of the jalopy has a hundred dollars worth of value. But until I find someone's going to buy that jalopy. Uh, It'll be difficult. So, 
the it's very important here what I tried to do in this chart and is to show that there's a hierarchy of what you would expect as a species of payment the second species of payment and the third species of payment okay so we've been we started out saying that the pus is saying we didn't even talk about money by the way and that's in a very important uh, aspect here okay but at least between land and metaltalin, if the Torah says the best of your land, so you, that's why Abaya says it. it means the best of your land, and of course not the worst of my land, but also I can't use metaltalin at all. And yet the other Puzzik says, Yashiv said, sure, I can use the worst of my metaltalin. That was our beginning problem. So here Abaya now, excuse me, Rabban is his second answer. Um, um, tells us a big Hiddish. Really, and that's when, there's no difference between land and movables. It's Meitavin and Midiachrin alone. Not at all. He's saying Meitavin, Vimidiachrin Kumo Meitav. You hear that? Just like land has three types of values, let's say, and you have to give the best of it, so too, when, you, when you're giving Metalpolin and you have three types of Metalpolin, you give the best. Okay. Is he is he saying that, or is he saying that every that everything has a best, that everything is equal, and there is no 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 hierarchy anymore? And it's just paid with the best. Exactly. So that's a that's a shock because that that what do I say? You always have to watch what premise switch. We always thought land is always more acceptable as a payment uh, than metal. Now he's saying no. The Torah is not taking any position about what's more acceptable as a payment. It's just saying, as an example, land, just like in land I told you to give the best, so too, metaphilin, give the best. Okay, that's, uh, that's what he's saying. Okay, but that, that upsets our hierarchy here. Now, now land is not better, it's equal to. Maybe I should have put that on the side even. Okay, there's no real difference between land and metaphilin. Just then, you'll ask me, why did, was land pick? Why did the Torah talk about land? So he would tell you the Havim it's talking about land is uh, is because land is something that's clearly divisible into uh, grades. So the, the Torah picked the, 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 the clearest uh, example of a graded item. But of course, anything else you have is also uh, going to be broken into grades. Okay? So that, that was a, a, a surprise. It answers the question. You no longer say media chrino you just say the the worst of any media chrino low. But the Gemara is not happy with that answer. That and that's called a mushal, by the way. Uh, okay, this means it's a mushal. Okay, so let's get to let's get to the objection. Why does the Gemara eliminate him? Okay. Ready? Yeah. So the Gemara sounds like it's saying that you cannot say. I haven't seen Rashi yet, but before Rashi turns like the sounds like the Gemara is saying that the pasuk specifies meat of the So you can't say that the pasuk of Yashiv has come to say that meat of is going on everything. Because in the first pasuk it says me to sedeil, which sounds like it's saying that you must pay with a field. So how can Rabbi come along and say that the answer to the idea is that the me to and the yashas are just coming to say there is no more hierarchy. Everything is me pay with whatever you want as long as you pay me to It says me to So what was Rabbi thinking? Right. So let's read Rashi and get it clearer. Let's see Rashi. That's an interesting way of putting it. So he didn't, Rashi didn't say it the way I said it. But Rashi is saying that the chat would be a viable chat, and that would be the viable chat, and it would just say meet to have some and not meet with name. Right. Suddenly the question is that the Sadeo is wrong. Right. What we're saying is that Meta would go and everything it wouldn't say Meta today, which is very pointed. Right. In other words, it's an, 
there's an extra word here, really. According to you, we don't need soda, even though I brought a, a, a reason why soda was picked. And this will be the difference between, by the way, this is another important thing that we have to investigate more deeply, is the difference between the Habamin and the Muskana. Ravad has a way of answering this. But the Gemara is saying that the, 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 the text of the, of the Chumash is not mashma what you're saying because it could have said it in a better way. So what I mean is, I tried to explain what was the Havamina of Rava. He knew also it said Meitav Sedehu. So he said Meitav Sedehu was an example of something that had different levels. Okay, so the Gemara is saying, well, wait a minute. If, if it just wanted to say Meitav, why did it bring the example? It could just said Meitav. And then I would have known everything has to be for Meitav. Okay, by bringing the sedehu, it's it, the, in the, the indication, in other words, it's an extra word. According to you, you don't need that extra, according to how Rashi's understanding. You could get the same idea by not saying the word sedehu. Say, pay him with metav, and then I would know that metav is, uh, okay. He'll say, oh, no, he, the reason why it says metav sedehu, you know why? Because the soda is something that's clearly divisible into parts. Everybody knows there's better uh, middle and worse. So that's why it said it. It could be that there that there's things that don't uh, admit uh, that don't admit to better or worse. Then you can give, give them anything because there's no better and worse. I mean, if you don't, but whenever there is a better and worse in metatalin, then you have to give it the best. So that's how rubber would defend himself. But they're saying that that's not mashma in the pasuk because the pasuk really could have saved the word sedehu and it didn't need the word sedehu. Of course, you're giving a reason why, but that reason why is. Is is unnecessary because if you said meta, we would have gotten the idea clearly, would have, and we wouldn't have to made you a drush. You know, meta, give the best of everything. Okay, but anyway, that's just only a, a little bit of a of a of, of building up the havamina maskana. By the way, I see more and more. I mean, everyone sees more. The, the gemara is a is a very very deep discussion. When we have these debates and we introduce. A possibility, and then we reject the possibility. There's a fine line distinction between what Rubber presented and how he's being uh, eliminated. It looks like when you read the Gemara, okay, he gives this crazy idea, and then we get rid of him quickly, you know. But that's not what's going on because we learned in talking Gemara to Shuftaskinon. We're not dealing here with simple people, so his answer is very, very powerful. It's just when we, like in Derek Tefunos, when we when we juxtapose his proposition to the facts on the ground will say that it, it works, but doesn't work that well. And we'll tell you why it doesn't work that well. Okay, But it doesn't mean that it was a foolish example. We could justify his position very well. It's just that it's, it's, it's not enough because it, the, the Pusik would, would, would have been written differently. Okay, that's one of the things I'm trying to demonstrate here. I know it's a little difficult to do because it takes a lot of time to talk about these things. What's the Havamina, what he thought, and what's wrong. And what. But basically, the, the point here is that we have to keep an eye on what was lost and, and what was gained. He gained the solution, but at a price. Whenever you have a kasha, and it's another important thing to be aware of, whenever you have a kasha, you know something is going to, you're going to change something. It, it comes with a price tag, or, or else the kasha was no kasha. So, like I, like I always give this example of, of Copernicus and, and what goes around what? The earth goes around the sun, the sun goes around the earth. So our eyes see that the sun goes around the earth. So to give that up is not so easy. But if we can understand that what you see is not always what the reality is, and we drop the premise of what you're seeing and show you you could be seeing the same thing with a different perspective. So then we can answer the problem of this other planet, you know, Mars going on with these epicycles the other way. Anyway, but that's another important thing to realize that the whatever answer is going to be given, it comes with a price. So here, the price of this answer of Rava is to put really the the um, Karka equal to the metalplin, and it's just being a muscle, just like the karka. You have to give the best to the metalplin gets best. That that was a switch in our thinking. Um, and the Gemara 
really rejects it on on the on according to Rashi on the on the strength of the steel that it didn't have to say according to you Sadehu. You can make that move, but then it doesn't fit good with the word. So the, here's another important rule. It seems that the Torah, I mean that the Gemara would favor an answer that's close more closer to the meaning of the words. Okay. Rav's example, his first example didn't didn't have a raya in the words. It was a nice idea, but there was no, there was no indication that the words said that. Right? Remember, you know, based in out of based in Yeshalam is Balkochit, it's it's also used not so, right? Abaya is giving the benefit to the Nizak, which is again not the spirit of what's uh, to the Mazak, I'm sorry, which is not in the spirit of what the Pasuk is talking about, is giving the benefit to the Mazak. So now we have to go to another answer. Let's look look at look at D. But do you get what I'm trying to do here? What I'm trying to show here is the that there's a progression of answers. Each one comes with a price. You have to understand what the Gemara, why the Gemara gave up on that answer. And then the next answer also is going to come with a higher price, but in a certain way is going to solve the problem better in the eyes of the Gemara. So you have to keep track of what was gained and what was lost, the balance sheet. Okay, so let's look at, at Rapapa's answer here. Okay, so, Ella. So they said that everything is made out. Because if it's not sold here, it's sold in another place, except for land. Um, now, land you must pay for metav because because you want the land to have buyers. So they're saying that the fear of the public is answering by saying that Yashid is telling you that everything is made out. Well, everything is made out, everything is made out, is made out. Land itself has to be made out in order to be able to have, to, for the one who's receiving the land to be able to sell it, it has to be made out or else there won't be any buyers for it. Okay, so now, let's again analyze that carefully. Let's first read Rashi, okay? And then we're going to analyze that answer and we're going to ask ourselves again, what premise changed? That you know, what new faith? Now, now the all of a sudden, the 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 the, the uh, Earth is going to go around the sun now. I mean, he's going to change the premise that we didn't think it was going to be changing. Okay, so let's see what Rashi says. Call Mile. <laughs> So now, so first. Right, so the metalkin you can bring it. Yachol alichem yomakim mizel yomakim acher. So mili, first of all, Rashi is not a mili. It's called mili. It means anything that's movable. What is movable? You can move it from one place to another. Right. That is called meter. Now, what did we think when Rabba said? What do we think? Excuse me. When the when the pasuk said when the pasuk said meitav in midiachrin alo. What did we think was meitav? Well, from Mitzvah to Dehu. Well, at that time, we found the the simple passage that it's the best of one's field. And what was the media queen low? Not Ziburus, not Indus, not Bengus, not Ziburus. And something else too. Yashiv. What was Yashiv? And not. Yashiv is telling you, and not Zubin. Yes, which is Metaltalin. You see, here's the big chiddush. We thought it meant. The only thing you can give is the top of the scale, the top of the, the, the top of the hierarchy, the best of your land. Anything less than the best of your land, the worst land, and all metaltalin. I don't care if it's best or not best. You can't give, as we thought. Right. So now we have a new definition, and he says no. When it said metav in midiachrin alo, it didn't mean in metaltalin. Because to our surprise, 
kol mile means kol metaltalin is called metav. It's habe metav. Why is it called metav? Because it can be sold anywhere. Right. Now, why does that make it metav? That it can be sold anywhere? Because it has buyers. You, you have more buyers. And what, what, what are you going to gain with buyers? Oh, you'll be able to exchange the, the, um, the uh, creative, creative exchange for, for cash or for, or for another or for something else. Or well, I would say for cash. For cash. I mean, right? I mean, what do you... Right. Uh, Okay, but you're all right. That's another interesting thing, something else also. I mean, that's also. But in other words, you can get what you want with metaltalin because there's a buyer around. Because do you want, Subin? The, the poor guy, you know, you had your cow. You were a nice, quiet neighbor, and all of a sudden this guy destroyed your cow. Now, I don't want Subin. I want a cow, <laughs> right? <laughs> I want Subin. So the only good thing that I can use with Subin is that I could sell it and then go buy my cow, right? Right. So, right. so when it's <laughs> so, the, the 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 what makes something good that it can that I get my that I can turn it into money. That's what makes something good. Right. Because then I get what I want. Okay. But land is never called good. Look at that. As a general. Uh, item land is that we thought land was called great, right? Right. Because everybody wants land. You, you know, said no. Land in general is not called good. Why? Because you're just limited to. It's your, right. It's right. It's right. you exchange them In in today's terms, you will call it not liquid. It's not liquid. Exactly. Now it may be very desirable, and people love land, and it may be have it may have qualities. Bechinot, remember, oh, this was such an important word in the beginning of Derek Tefunos. He talked about bechinot, you know, and 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 he and like the whole book is really talking about structure. What does that do, bechinot? Bechinot turns out to be the heavy thing, because no matter what you investigate, like land, there's certain aspects that make it very desirable, and certain aspects that make it undesirable. Okay, so up to this point, we thought land was the most desirable because it's almost universally accepted, like money. If I ask you about universally accepted as currency, right? The American dollar versus the uh, uh, versus the Iraqi, who knows what they have over there? Okay, so of course the dollar is more acceptable. So the same thing is acceptable as a payment. Everyone will accept land, but who's going to accept brand as payment? You know, I don't. So that's what we thought up to this point. Now there's a big revolution. There's another aspect of land which actually makes it worse than metaltalin, the fact that it's not liquid. Right. <laughs> so this is a big revolution of, of uh, Rev, Rev Pup and Rebbe Shubin, uh, Rebbe Shubre, uh, Rebbe, uh, Rebbe Okay. Now, it's an interesting word here. I just wanted to bring things up. I, I don't know, I'm just thinking about this all day long. But see this word, Pashuha? Yes. That bothered me. Why isn't this just another terrace, right? Like in the beginning, in the beginning, if you if you noticed, this is something that still bothers me today. I mean, I, I I'm I'm starting to formulate some idea about it. I have an idea. I don't know if it's correct. In the beginning, uh, when he was when when Abaya asked Rubber the Kasha, here he says low Kasha, low Kasha. One is talking me Dike, the one's coming Valchor. Here. The Lushan of the Gemara is Parshuha. He, they explained it. You see? So I, I think the word Parshuha is, is, a, is very, very uh, important here because it says we're now going to explain a different Bechina than you thought about. Right? We're giving you a parish of the, of the word Metav, which you never thought about. Well, I was bothered by something else. I was bothered yes. by the introduction of Ki Asa. Yeah, oh, that's another Why word. That's, so maybe they go together. Maybe they didn't know about this kasha, and they came along and said, where we come from, this is the way we learn Shad the Pasa. But doesn't that eliminate the yeah. kasha? Well, that, well... It does. So that's why the Gemara is ah. down. The Gemara is saying that the way they learned Shad the Pasa in that yeshiva, it was never a kasha. 
because the, the, the because the they, but the, the, because the way they understood the relationship, the hierarchy between metaltolin and and uh, and um, karka, they never had a problem. I agree with you, but they, but right. but that's because they started with a different set of values. Okay. Okay. Now now that this is. Very, 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 very interesting. But that's what the, that's that's what went on here. Okay. So now we have the 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 um, the fourth answer. Okay. And what I tried to do, I don't know how successful. I'm actually you know, sort of maps out the. Uh, um, okay. You see all these. I know it's hard to see the first time. It's like a bunch of circles. But what I try to do is to make the hierarchy: money, best land, movables, and everybody's using that as a premise up to this point. Okay, that money is the they say the best or equal to the best land, and then you have land which is universally acceptable, like the American dollar, and then you have things which uh, you know Subin, which is not universally acceptable. You know, they'll take it because it has value, but it's not universally acceptable. Then Papa, and he they uh, they, they solve the problem by reinterpreting the hierarchy. They actually put move up. And therefore, the cussif plus it comes to tell you cussive includes movables, which are the second best, and excludes all land. So now I need a pusik to bring in metaf sedehu. Okay? So they inverted the order in order to get their result, which is again what was gained and what was lost. So what was what was lost here was the simple meaning that land is is the the universally acceptable and it's much better than. When it, when you, when you want to get paid back, would you rather have land or movable? So, the the Havamina, the the simple way of saying it, is that oh, people would much rather get land than movables. But the but looking at it from this perspective of liquidity, so now we reverse the order and we can explain the psukim very nicely. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to go. Oops. Now let's go back. Um, now the Gemara point. Okay. It's very interesting. What happens here? The, we have a boy of uh, a question from Rav Shmuel Bar Ava May Akronia. Okay, not from the Ukraine, but Akronia. He asks Rav Ava, "How do we evaluate what's called good and bad?" Another very essential, essential question. We're trying to say the best of your land. You have to give the mate of today to the best of your land. Okay. So is it the subjective best? That means whatever you have, even if you have three grades of poor land, you have to give just the best of that. Uh, or is it an objective best, whatever the world market is? So let's say the world market uh, says that you have uh, uh, a grade A land and you have double prime land and triple prime land. You, you know, you just have super best. So can you give them what's called your worst? You only have you only you only deal in prime property. You have prime A, prime B, and prime C, or whichever way is higher. And and does that mean you can give them the least of your prime property because that's called prime in the world uh, world um, perspective, or do you have to give it the subjective what's your best? You have to give your triple prime best. So that's the question that he asks here. Okay, which is very nogaya to our problem uh, uh, of paying mate of sedehu. They go through a lot of discussion about that. The Tosfa says the, the, the maskana is it's the subjective best. Okay, I'm not going to go through this Gemara. You can do it mamish by yourself. After the Gemara goes through this uh, um, very interesting discussion, debate, what is it? It to Okay, but said this is where we're going to end right now. We're going to end. It, it comes to fourth definition and all of a sudden Rev Huna. Okay, so we'll pick up next week Rev Huna and what he has to say. Okay, once we get Rev Huna, we have our five solutions and we're ready for the Rishona. Okay, <laughs> have a great uh, stay and uh, I, I, I okay. This is, this is actually my learning for the day. I didn't have any time to learn. Anything.
Very good. Baruch Hashem. Okay. Osek b'mitzvah about the b'mitzvah. Mamish, what you're doing is a mamish. Chashuv ma'ot. Chashuv ma'ot. As a person who...